I'm Dr. Hartman from Westwood Mansfield Pediatrics. And again, anything we talk about today is specifically for our patients at Westwood Mansfield Pediatrics. Anybody else who sees this video may have a different philosophy from their pediatricians and should follow their guidelines in accordance with what their pediatrician uh, has stated. Today we're going to talk a little bit about how to swab your child's throat for a strep test. Already in our website, wmpeds.com, under the uh, education section and parent handouts, is how to process the test. It's the training video, how to process the rapid strep test. The real challenge for parents at times has been being able to actually do the strep test. And today I want to show you a little bit about the anatomy of what you are looking at when you do a strep test and the techniques that we can use. Here is what the typical mouth looks like when you open a mouth, when somebody opens their mouth. You have your tongue, and in the back, the thing that hangs down called the uvula, and you have two tonsils, one on each side. Now, if you noticed, I put X's on the two tonsils and actually behind the uvula in the, uvula, in the very back of the throat. These are the areas the swab needs to touch and is touched in what we call a circular motion. In other words, the swab is put all the way to the back of the throat, then started to turn, touches the tonsils once, touches them twice, and then you pull it out at the time. Now remember, to actually open the mouth wide enough and to see this, a child should say something, say a loud, ah, and what that does is raise the uvula up and pull the tongue down and allows for that space to put the swab in. So now we're going to have an example of how to do the test. My assistant here today is Kathy, and Kathy is going to show you how to do a test on me. The techniques that I use, there are two techniques, is have kids sit on their hands and open their mouths and say, ah, or pant. <laughs> Another option you have at home that we don't have here is if, you have, if your child has a pet, they can hold their pet while you do the swab test. So Kathy now, I'm going to turn the chair to the side, right like this, and Kathy will now take the strep test, and she's going to test me. And notice how far the swab has to go into the back of my throat. Okay, Kathy, I'm ready when you are. Okay, open your mouth. Ah, 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 good. Now, one thing that you want to say to the parent is, because we already know this, is the child say it aloud, ah. So this is how you do the swab. Um, suggestion for parents who gag easily, maybe let your spouse do it, because sometimes you have a lot of em empathy for your child and you just can't do it, and we fully understand that. And again, if you're not able to do this at all, please give us a call. Follow our instructions and our education cards about when to call, um, and when to do the test as well, and uh, we'll be happy to serve you. Thank you, and have a nice day.